everybody. Welcome back to another episode of TV Junkie Generation. I know it's been a long time, but there's been a lot of stuff going on, and I'm excited that my first new show for this year is about my favorite show ever, Vikings. Hence, I have my Vikings necklace on. It's Odin's Raven. It's uh, Thursday nights on History Channel. We had the first, you know, the season premiere. I didn't want to do my show until the season premiere because I didn't want to accidentally give anything away because this season is wild. And we, uh, press, were lucky enough to get to early screen the first half of the season, which really helped set up a lot for the show. So let's get right into it right away. Okay. First of all, pros, obviously... Vikings is amazing because not only is it historically accurate, because I'm a little bit of a Vikings history nerd, but we have so many amazing characters this season. The world has just expanded from just Ragna and his family and Lagatha um, and Queen Oslug and Rollo. We, we have so many more players in the game now that adds so much more depth and dimension to an already intricately woven storyline and I love that about this season because it doesn't feel overwhelming the characters they all fit into place perfectly like pieces of a puzzle and it makes the season so much more enticing because let's be honest everybody wants to be in power and Ragnar is the king and everybody wants to be the king so that's definitely a pro another pro for this season is the action is off the charts we obviously love the fighting scenes but we go into the woods there's animals and there's enemies coming from all different angles and so there's a lot of wonderful fighting scenes and michael hurst who does this show put so much love into making those fight scenes look real and authentic and they film it on location and if it's raining they fight in the rain and the fight scenes are definitely worth it um, another pro because there's a million of them is that I love how you know they're staying true to the historical you know story of the Vikings and Ragnar especially and for us history buffs we know what's coming but I love that um, they really took the season and they really showed like that they're going to follow the storyline exactly and it's fun and it's exciting I know the first episode there wasn't a lot of fighting but and also I love the women you know the women are powerful and strong and fighters and can be earls and I love love that about this show because it was true back then. I mean, I could give a thousand pros, but those are the main ones. The only negative I can think of, and this is only for you because I've seen the first, you know, half of the season, the first episode, if you want all the fighting, you know, the big epic battles, you don't really get that in the first episode, but that's only because they're setting up a lot of storylines, you know, that have to be with Floki and Ragnar and, 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 you know, Queen Oslog. They have to really set up those storylines in the beginning in order for them to play out for the rest of the season. So if you're upset there wasn't a big battle scene, I promise you, it's coming. I mean, I would give it 10 hair flips. I'd give it 100 hair flips. Trust me, Vikings is so good. The acting is just better and better each season. The characters are better and better each season. The hair or wardrobe, location. The show is amazing. The stories are amazing. It's about family and love and power and loyalty. And it's also about history. And I love that they can just put all that together and make a fantastic show. So if you're not watching, you need to watch now. You know, so it's Vikings. It's on the History Channel, Thursday nights. Don't miss it. So I give a big skull drink to everyone. And trust me, it's going to be worth it because this season is unbelievable. So you've been warned. Watch, watch, watch. Thanks for watching another episode of TV Junkie Generation. I will see you very, very soon.